and I'm straight into filming episode three. Love me long time. Gary and B just met this girl in Phuket. He's bought a condo. He's kitted it out. Ten condo. Five owned by foreigners. Five by Thai. Really nice upmarket. Back then, 2011, paid five million baht. That's a probably 10 million back condo, maybe more now. He still has that condo. He met this girl, B, eating, as he called it, noodle street food. <laughs> noodle food. In Phuket, Karen Beach. 30, 31 year old girl. Not very attractive, slim. She started chatting, she spoke great English. She studied at school and she was doing quite well with her little boutique. She started talking to him because she could see he had money from his clothes and she was trying to sell him stuff. But it was ladies fashion I think. It was either makeup or fashion, similar to what men do. She was trying to get a customer, that's what it started off like. Anyway, they got chatting and they got on really well. She wasn't after a boyfriend, she was after a customer for a sale. He wasn't looking at her as girlfriend material because uh, she wasn't that pretty. But they got on really well. He went to her boutique and Gary being back, Gary, he knew, he could tell that she was just after a sale or two. So he thought, well, to relax her and to, you know, she spends a little bit of time chatting away to him. He said to her, if I buy some stuff, can I take you out for a meal, gentlemen? Uh, and this must have been daytime sometime. He said, can we go out for a meal? And she said, yeah, if you spend whatever it was, a thousand baht on stuff, and it was women's stuff. If you spend a thousand baht on stuff, um, I'll uh, happily come out for a meal with you. Well, Gary being Gary, spent about 5,000 baht and bought a load of, well, it was probably fabulous stuff, but I, I can't remember what he told me, whether it's clothes or hats or, anyway, he bought about 5,000 bats worth, bat worth of kit. And she gave him bags and bags of stuff. What's he gonna do with it? Anyway, he bought it. She said, yep, we'll go out for a meal tonight. So they arranged seven o'clock and he would pick her up at the, at the shop boutique. That's how they arranged it. Now, Gary was quite in business. I imagine he's quite blunt and he's forthcoming. When he's got a business proposition, he'd be like straight to the point, no messing around. And he went and picked B up at seven in the evening and he, he said to B, I want a nice restaurant. And B said, I know a place up on the hill, got music, it's like a Jamaican theme can see over the bay. It's not top-end restaurant, but it's nice food and they have music. Let's go up there, it's not far. Okay, grabbed a song tail, just the two of them. 100 baht, 200 baht, 300, whatever it was. Up they went, didn't have to book a table. And he went, it was okay. It wasn't really uh, Gary's sort of uh, preferred type of restaurant, but good food. I've been there and it's good food. Great vantage point, viewpoint. Straight away, B was a clever businesswoman. She said to him, why did you buy all that stuff off me today just to take me for dinner? And she said, I'm not that attractive woman and I'm not looking for a boyfriend. I've got a big family and I've got um, a child. Or two children, a child. She said, so what made you do that just to bring me out for food? And he said, I don't know, he said, there's something about you. You speak great English. You didn't lie to me. You sort of said, you buy this and I can have dinner. It was a business proposition. He said to me, you're a businesswoman and I like that. He said, I need friends and I've got something I'm looking for. And I'm thinking in my business head that maybe you could help me. Bees like, King business head turns on, relaxes. Okay, so we're not after boyfriend, girlfriend. 
you want a business deal. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I suppose. That's what I want. I need a business partner to help me find what I'm looking for. I said, okay, I can do that. She says, but I'm gonna charge you loads of money. He says, I don't care. <laughs> she immediately knew his clothes, what he spent already. She knew this was like ka -ching, potential lottery win. She totally relaxed and she just, they got a drink, got some food. She said, Talk about, tell me about your life. And he said, tell me about your life. And that was it. They sat down for three or four hours chatting about her life, her family, her business his life, his business. And they just kept chatting and talking and talking and talking. Hours. And the, it was getting on, midnight time, and she's like, I've, I've got to, I'm going to have to go home and go to bed because I've got to open the shop up in the morning. And he said, okay. He said, uh, do you open the shop every day? She said, well, six days. She said, but I've got a girl who works for me who looks after the shop. But I only use her if I've got other business um, because I have to pay a salary. Kaching, Gary, you know what he's going to do. He's, so how much does it cost you to have that girl run the shop? She says, well, with, a, with maybe potential losses because she's not that good a saleswoman, maybe a thousand baht a day. And Gary's right. So if I said to you tomorrow, I want, let's carry on this talk and just chat all day. Can you get that girl at this notice cover the shop? And I'll pay, and he said, I'll give you 2,000 baht. He said, no. He said, for your time tomorrow, and us chatting, I'll give you 10,000 baht. He said, I'm gonna buy your business head tomorrow. I'll give you 10,000 baht. I remember him telling me this. He said her eyes just went bright, wide open, shock, and went, Okay, deal. <laughs> Wouldn't you? If you were in her position? She said, hang on. Pulls out her little phone. Da -da 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 -da. Done. Girl's got keys. Sorted. Girl's going to open up. That's it. She's got the day off tomorrow. And he said, well, in that case, we don't have to rush off home now. She said, I suppose. He said, come on, back to my condo. He said, I've got... Uh, nice kind of, we put some music on, we can chat. We can even chat all night if needed. And he said, I'll pay you if it's an all night chat. And she's like, ching. She's rubbing her hands together. But she's a really, really nice girl. Her child is with her parents, some distance away, but I think somewhere around Crabby Way, not, not up in North or anything. So she's fine. And she's got a room, her own room, so all sorted and he's like happy he's a happy Gary ha. they go back to his condo and she's like wow this is nice and he told her all about the condo and all that and she said actually she said there's some condos up the road um, that are even better and you can buy two they're two joined together they're, is it duplex condo two together and what if you buy the top two, you've got a swim pool on the top, and she said they're only about eight, only about eight million baht. And he's like, really? And two floors, and he's, yeah, yeah, really nice, they're new, and I think they'll be worth a lot of money in the future. And he's like, oh, investment, okay. He said, let's dive up there in the morning and have a look at those. And then she's like, ching, ching, I know the guy who's building that, I'm gonna get a commission. And she said to him, if you buy one of those, I get, she told him. And he's like, that's why I like you. You're honest. He said, brilliant in his Texas way. So he's found a potential business partner. And then she starts, come on, and they have a little bit of drink, a bit of music on. What are you after? What's your business? What are you trying to find? And then he starts telling her about the wife, the mother of kids, what he wants in life. And B's like, well, 
that's so easy to find you just buy them or you buy the kids and he's like I don't really want to buy kids I don't want to you know she says you get a surrogate you can get a Thai woman pregnant pay her X amount of um, dollars and take the kid home and then you just get some woman to look after the kids kid or kids and you you've got your empire safe and no woman complications and that's the first time that anyone had said to him about doing it that way he was a billionaire he was weird in some ways he he's never gonna find this woman and he says I knew there was a reason I bumped into you he said it's amazing how fate twists and turns and he said such a great idea two o'clock in the morning and they're continuing to drink and B's getting a little bit tipsy Gary's getting a little bit tipsy he won't get drunk he has his limit and for some reason B when she got drinking her how can I put this she got Randy no she didn't she got Gary no she got Randy and she jumped on him and they ended up having a great night of aerobics come the morning and she got up and realized what she'd done she's straight blunt looks at him in the morning and he's probably still in bed he said to me she got up she, her head head went from being drunk and just laid me back to business and said that was a one-off it just happened we're business now from this moment okay and he went yeah fine and she said I don't want you to pay me for that because that would be weird <laughs> and he went okay <laughs> that was the first time in Gary's 11 years of going to Thailand so 99 2011 12 years going to Thailand that he had had aerobics with a Thai lady that he hadn't paid he paid her in other ways obviously but hadn't paid for that aerobics first time brilliant absolutely brilliant um, Bees gets up she goes look I've got to go home I need to change and uh, Gary's like, yeah, I want some nice breakfast. Um, I go to a, a, a restaurant down the second road somewhere. Very nice restaurant, quite expensive, but they do a lovely breakfast. Eggs Benedict or something. She said, I'll tell you what, I'll meet you there. When I'll go back, get changed, I'll meet you there, and then we'll head off. We're going to have a look at that condo first. And he said, okay, fine, be about an hour. And she said, yeah. Off she goes. He gets himself sorted, heads down. From where his condo, it's a hundred bar ride in a, a tuk-tuk. It's just down the road. So he goes down, as usual, he's dressed lovely. He's now beginning to put Panama hats on and start to wear hats. Head keeps getting burnt, same me. And uh, so, what is he, 51, 52 years old? He's met B, he's in Phuket, he's already bought a condo. Could this be the start? Now, he, as I said back then, was clearing $50,000 minimum a day into his bank. So when he met, when he said to me that back then telling me, I was like, it's obscene amount of money, but it obviously goes in monthly, I don't know, it's finances, but it was a lot of money. And anything he bought, he bought in the company name or he'd get the company lawyers to buy it. So however it was done, because it was a condo, he could have it in his own name, so no problems in Thailand. So buying stuff in Thailand was, it was pocket change, but he still got the company lawyers to look after it all and handle it. He didn't like doing anything, he just like sign, money, done, ring his accountant, pay them. He didn't get involved with all that. Um, same as like visas, every time he came over, if someone else did it for him now this time he was over for a few months 
so he'd obviously got a longer visa don't know which one everything was sorted for him he must have had a personal assistant he must have had a PA down he goes breakfast B turns up he's halfway through his breakfast said do you want some food she said yeah yeah so she grabbed some food oh nice food she didn't really eat farang food but she had some and it was alright they had breakfast and B said I'm really sorry about it last night she said I got drunk he said hey in his way he said don't worry about it it was great he said that's the first time I've not paid for sex in all my years in Thailand and she's like oh didn't really want to know that too much information <laughs> but anyway she, had a, she was like let's forget it and he said yeah breakfast he said right you want let's kind of look at this condo and she said would you be interested to buy one of these double ones that even the top one the big one as an investment and he's like well if it's better than mine he said i'd be quite happy to buy it um and move in there and he said well, i'll just rent the other one out whatever if you can rent them out in thailand if you can rent them out he didn't have a clue she's like huh she's obviously got friends and she went okay i might be able to help you with all this of course she can she's a thai businesswoman time's rolling on let's leave it there actually i'm just starting to actually enjoy this love story that's dangerous when i start enjoying it because it ends up being longer because i start remembering stuff that he's told me <laughs> oh and krista if you're watching krista's written a book a beautiful love story but i can't seem to plant it in my head and convert it onto camera I'm still playing with it so Krista, bear with me. But this one's already way back in filing system number 207, draw three. Gary's love story. It's easier to find. Let's go and look at condos. B. Not that great a looking, but... Huh, how was she at aerobics? See you soon. Bye for now.